Tempers flared at a community forum overnight where federal candidates were grilled on what they will do to champion solar power if elected. And it wasn't just renewable energy that caused controversy, with an awkward seating arrangement also raising eyebrows. Solar power was supposed to be the hot topic of the forum, but for many the source of contention was the dubious seating arrangement for candidates. Just days after Fisher MP Peter Slipper challenged LNP candidate Mal Bruff to a debate over his role in the James Ashby affair, the two arch rivals were allocated side-by-side -side seating. Mr Slipper even double-checking his nameplate before taking a seat. The community forum was hosted by the Sunshine Coast Solar Citizens Group and aimed at determining what each of the seven Fisher candidates would do to champion solar power. It wanted to secure a commitment from each towards the renewable energy target of 20% of Australia's electricity coming from renewable energy by 2020. I think a big, the biggest hurdle is the uh, in uncertainty in the industry and that's caused by changes in policy. All were in agreement, but what differed was how. Labor candidate Bill Gassane promised free solar panels for low-income earners and pensioners. Yeah. Peter Slipper says he wants to make solar purchases tax-free. As a state which sadly has the highest level of uh, melanomas in the world, what we ought to be doing is to turn our sunlight to good purpose. While Mal Bruff promised one million additional homes with solar over the next 10 years, the rating system was a fitting one. Signs displaying yellow sunshine indicated the audience was happy with a response. Red wind for unsure and an ominous black cloud for displeasure. Peace. Hayley Webb, Wind News.